Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we're looking at Custom GUI. So, this is a fantastic plugin, and as the name would suggest, it allows you to make custom GUIs on your Minecraft server. So, there's quite a few plugins like this, but I found this is one of the easiest I've ever used. It's so simple, it works really well, and let's just jump into it. So, first of all, what we're going to do is look at a couple of ones that I've created and then go ahead and make one ourselves. So, if we do forward slash minerals and it will open up our custom GUI. So, I've got two different items in here at the moment, and you can change the um, item law, you can change the title of the GUI, and you can change what happens when you click them. So, if I were to click either of them, I will get an emerald given to me or a diamond given to me. And as you can see, the rest of the GUI is blank. Um, so you can have that with glass panes if you want. And it is one, two, three, four rows deep. So that's going to be 36 um, spots in total. So that is the first GUI that I've created. If we go ahead and do forward slash server miner, this will open up the second GUI I've created. And as you can see, I've moved the item over here and I've given it a different name as well, different lore and down at the bottom we only have two different rows to put items in. So if we were to click this one it will give us the um, server miner website and if we click this one it will give us an error because I used the wrong item ID. So what I should have done is use gold underscore ingot or gold underscore or um, for it to work properly. So what we're going to do now is jump into the config file and see what we can change in there and how to create one. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel and as you can see there is only one YML file which makes things a lot easier as other plugins sometimes have loads of files, loads of folders and it gets a bit confusing. So let's go ahead and open up the config and see what's inside. So once it's open there's a few different things we can change. So up at the top there's a couple of different messages that you will see in chat if you do something wrong or need permission etc. Right at the top we have the message prefix which you can change to anything you want, uh, to your server name, to just GUI, um, so let's go ahead and do that. Then down below we can get into the menus that we create. So menu 1 is the one we opened with minerals and that gave us a diamond or an emerald. Um, and as you can see there's a few different things we can change to do with it. And scroll down even more and then we have the second menu that I created, the server minor one. Um, and as you can see all the information to do with it. So let's go through the first menu. So up at the top we have the open command minerals, then we have the size, so it's 36 different slots. And as you know it's 9 slots per line, um, so make sure you do a multiple of 9 to 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, etc. And then close after click true. So if you click an item in the GUI, do you want it to close or stay open? Then the GUI title, so you can give this a custom name if you want. Do you want it to fill with panes or just be completely blank? And do you want an open sound? Then you get to the items. So you have the first item, item one, the name of it, the lore, the material, so that would be a diamond, the data, so if you want different types of wood or stone, you can have metadata, uh, the amount, the command that's run or multiple commands that are run when you click it, the slot it's in, and the attributes. So the most important thing here is to make sure the slots don't overlap. So if you've got one in slot zero, make sure you don't have another one in slot zero or you can come up with some errors. Same with the material, so make sure you get the material ID correct or you will not have a GUI that works. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and create one of our own. So the easiest way to do that is copy one of the previous menus that have already been created and just tweak it a little. So you can change the size, you can change the name, obviously change the command, and probably the most important thing is change the menu number. So this is going to be menu number three. Uh, we're going to change uh, a few of the different slots and items and commands just to show you how it works really. And once we've done that, we're going to save the file and jump back into the game. Now that we're back in the game, we can do forward slash custom GUI space reload. That will reload the config file. And then we can go ahead and do forward slash test and the GUI has opened. And as you can see, it does everything we set it to do. We've moved a couple of the items. We've changed the amount. We've changed the item ID. And that is pretty much how you do it. So you can obviously make much more complicated uh, GUIs. You can sell stuff, give people permissions, commands, whatever. Um, there is a lot you can do with it. So if you want to download it, check out the Spigot link in the description down below. 
If you want a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. And if you want any help, um, check out our Discord as well. So that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.